Adam Slayer from Rift 2, Get Thrash, the story of Thrash Metal, actually a documentary, uh, coming out on DVD soon. No solid release date as of yet. They had to push it back uh, to August, though. They're looking at this thing coming out this summer. Check out this trailer I found from Get Thrash, the story of Thrash Metal. Check it out. I'm Slayer from Rift 2. It was a phenomenon on, on a smaller level than, say, something like Michael Jackson Thriller, you know? It wasn't like that, but... Um, it was, it was it was special something completely different and you didn't have to deal with it so here you had to hear more of it it was like a drug it was like caffeine it was like god i have to do more i have to get more of it it was loud it was heavy it was amazing Stuff that was absolutely brand new, and it was they like the way no yeah. one ever thought about doing that stuff. They're geniuses, you know, for, for creating what they created, and you know, yeah, totally paved the way for bands like us. That was the fastest shit going on at that time. Nobody has heard anything like that. It was the heaviest, fastest, craziest music you could hear. I'm not drinking. Here's the job. Get the one who's drinking. Here's the job. Get out of me, drinking. We were kids wanting to sing about the heaviest things we can. So it was uh, murder, Satan, rape, you know, violent death. We wanted to write about the bad things in the world. And the fresh metal music gives us a chance to scream it out. It was tough getting your, your record played on the radio. It was tough getting it on the shelves of stores. Uh, mainstream America was just afraid of it. So there were like a few fights, like every now and then, well there were a lot of fights. It was just skins versus long hairs, man. It was, it was, I was just on the back riding the fence, you know. <laughs> I, I had a mullet, so you know, I was in between. There was so much testosterone going on. Rush metal! It was very easy to just get raiding parties and go, kill them, kill posers and stuff, you know, not literally, usually, but we pound on a few, you know, because they take our girlfriends. I want to see a fucking MOSFET New York style right now! Come on! We played shows in clubs where kids did stage dives and landed on their skulls and busted their skulls open. And an ambulance came and they took them off in a stretcher. But you know what? The, the show never stopped and I didn't even know about it until after the show. Everybody had a good time even if they were bleeding. And I had a good time if they were bleeding. It was a really exciting time, you know, because the energy produced some really amazing music. It's kind of like, I, I honestly don't need to even go back and listen to a lot of those records because it's imprinted on my DNA at this point. It's evolved to black metal, it's evolved to death metal, it's evolved to speed metal. Look how many of those bands exist now. And without thrash metal, I don't think there would be any of those bands. How can you not be affected by the whole scene that was so powerful? And uh, I think a lot of the young bands today are very influenced by it. To a lot of other people, it's just a show. But for us, man, it was basically bowing at the altar. It was just like, it was so huge.